Welcome to Prayer and Coffee at this beginning of Christmas week. In Luke 1, Through the tender mercy of our God, with which the day spring from on high has visited us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. The celebration of the birth of Christ didn't begin at His birth. It was celebrated and foretold by the prophets and recorded in God's Word. God always had a plan of redemption. In Galatians 4, when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, born under the law. God sent forth His plan of salvation to give us an opportunity to be restored in relationship with Him. This is not something to be treated casually or a day to be celebrated without deep prayer and worship. It may not be the actual day of Christ's birth, but it is the touch point for the whole world to worship Him. Isaiah 7, The Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call His name Emmanuel, God with us. In John 1, 14, He became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. Let's pray. Father, it's our desire to set aside some time today to gather at your church with the body of Christ and to worship your Son. Jesus has saved me, and we don't want to be so focused on all the other things that have intruded into this season and miss the main star of the season, my Savior, Jesus. Your prophets foretold His coming as a child to save us. They said His birth was a time of yoke-breaking and light becoming, overcoming darkness. Jesus, let my loved ones see You, my family. Holy Spirit, draw them to Jesus. Let my heritage be family and children and grandchildren that serve the Lord. Save them, heal them, deliver them. Make sure they know it was you, Jesus, that did all these things for them. Open the eyes of our nation. Shine your light into every corner of darkness in America. Uncover and reveal every dark area in our government. Break the yoke, chains in our land. Raise up and send healers, prayers across this nation, those instructed to intercede for and heal this broken land. In the name of our sovereign King, Jesus. Amen.